I'm sure everything will be great. <laughs> All right. <Hello. laughs> Welcome viewers. This is our fourth attempt at the slave pens, which is the worst quest in the game that we've discovered because of the stupid escort thing. But we've been playing it wrong the whole time, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we consulted forums on Reddit and BoardGameGeek over the past week or so and discovered that it seems like the behavior of this stupid guy that we're escorting, um, we were doing it wrong. We were basically moving him as far as it could go each turn, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but actually what we were supposed to be doing is he only moves if he has a direct path. Um, and so if there's enemies blocking the way to a door, then he doesn't actually move up to those enemies. He just stays where he is. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try playing it that way and maybe it'll be way easier. And last time we thought adding two more characters would make it easier. Maybe it did, but we not. <laughs> not do that this time because it ends up making all the enemies elite and all that stuff um, also and has more enemies. Um, it so was we're, awful. We're back <laughs> to our original two characters, our Sun Keeper and Summoner. Mm -hmm. We're going to try again. Because yes. those other characters, because we had just created them, were also super squishy. So they couldn't take any hits. It was, in general, it just didn't work. Although I, I think. I like the spell you were, though. I, I like my mind thief guy like a lot, except for the fact that he's so squishy. Like, I I feel like I would totally have fun have had fun playing him. So we'll see. He might return. Maybe we can do a um, multiverse thing. If we hop over into a parallel dimension, <laughs> playing with them the whole time, and just level them up to like level six. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just our mercenaries that like hang out in the tavern and show up when we, I don't know. Oh, another thing is my character did level up after the last time. Oh, nice. So, what's your hit points it. now? You know, but I forgot to do it. Oh. So, to save time, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Got so excited. And I hope there isn't like a totally amazing level six ability that would solve everything. Um, and I'll just level up after this, after this scenario. My level six ability is cool, but not that cool, to be perfectly honest. Okay. It's not like a, it's not groundbreaking. It's, it's nice. And it's not a last card, which you know, that's one of the problems I have with this character is there's lots of lost cards, but it's a decent card. Anyway. Okay, so um, I guess since we reset and everything, we are back in the city and we can do a city event. <laughs> yep. So we limped back to town again and threw the mercenaries into the tavern and said, that was not helpful, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we have event number 25. Okay. On a trip to the coin district, you catch sight of an old wiry Valrath carrying a large intricate vase out his front door. As you get closer, the Valrath begins to struggle with the vase, sweat pouring from his brow. Under the strain, the Valrath loses his balance and the fragile vase topples downward as he yells a string of curses. Option one, attempt to catch the vase. Option two, with no time to react, watch the vase fall to the ground. I think uh, we try to catch it because we're like lawful good right now. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, do we have any, uh-oh. Um, brute 
cry cart or lightning symbol. We don't have any of those, do we? Nope. Ugh. You race forward and attempt to catch the vase, but it's too much for you. Your grip loosens and the vase shatters into a hundred pieces. The Valrath is irate, demanding compensation for, from you for breaking it. You pay him what you can, lose 10 collective gold. We lose 10 gold? We lose 10 gold. And it gets ripped up. It's a rip up card. Dang it. Okay. How much gold do I have? Eight. Okay, I can I can give five. I can give five. Sad. <laughs> I don't collect gold much at all, and so I'm very poor. <laughs> I level up, but I'm poor. <laughs> okay, a road event. 67. 67, my goodness. Oh, that's like the third to last one. Not too far down the main road outside of Gloomhaven, you run across a merchant wagon headed into town. Ah, I was afraid for a second you might be bandits, the merchant says, but now I see you are mercenaries from the town, correct? Most excellent. I have heard good things about the mercenaries of Gloomhaven. Hard to believe coming from such a backwater place, but they are true, correct? Option A, demonstrate your virtue by offering to escort the merchant back to Gloomhaven. Or option B, demonstrate your lack of virtue by robbing the merchant. <laughs> There's no like option C, like, they're totally true, brother. <laughs> option C almost all the time, remember? It's like... Uh, <laughs> the mind your own business option. <laughs> yeah. I guess we help them. I guess we help them too. All right, let's see. But now we're going back to town. <laughs> yeah, well... Um, okay. Ah, well, no, I don't want to be a bother, but I mean, yes, I can't pay you, though I'd love the company. It's rather terrifying traveling the East Road by yourself. He us? Huh? He can't pay us? No, he can't pay us. It is a relatively short journey back to town, but the merchant is very grateful. I'm quite impressed, sirs. I'll be sure to tell everyone back in the capital that Gloomhaven is a safe place to do business. Gain one prosperity. Oh, That's wow. actually really good. What's what are we at now? Our prosperity, hold on. Um, I think we might, we are, we're almost to four, I think. But I can't figure out how to add prosperity. Are we to four, did we make it? No, we're one off from four. Okay. We need to make it to four. Oh, here we go. Change. My app actually is um, updated. Yeah, we have 14 checks. So we're like almost to four, but not quite. We yep. need one more check and then we'll be at four. And then a whole bunch of stuff happens at the, at the shop and we get a bunch more stuff at the shop and we can start leveling up to our characters to level four when we make them. How do I remove characters? Oh, here we go. Remove characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks really um, blurry. It looks a bit blurry. What do you have your resolution set to? I didn't change anything. Is the cord loose? Is there a cord? I don't even know. There is a cord. <laughs> It's set to HD. Weird. It's not super blurry. I can read it, but. Okay. Maybe I have it enlarged too much. No, because you usually actually have it enlarged more than that. Maybe yeah. that's the problem. You didn't enlarge it enough. Whatever. Usually I only see like 
half of it. It is readable. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It looks choppy to me. Like you can't see what these words say right here. Oh, you can't see my mouse cursor, can you? <laughs> At the very top, there's a label in that brown. Yeah, I can't see that, but is it useful knowledge? No. So. We're fine. We need to reset. Oh, what? Uh, we're still at level two, is that right? Yeah, we're still at level two. Okay, and then this is 38. I didn't have to look at the picture to set up today. That's how many times we've done this scenario. <laughs> it's very sad. I say that if we don't make it this time, that I just send the mind thief to thief his mind and we know where the thing is and we move along. <laughs> I'm actually totally fine with that <laughs> <laughs> i'm reaching a point with this guy where i'm like you, your info cannot be worth it oh we're supposed to get one reputation though i don't know if i would give us our own reputation for stealing his mind mm. okay anyways anyways <laughs> Two little dungeon thingies uh okay where did i lose it to Oh, I know which one I'm doing. Ooh. I'm going to do this one for all of you playing at home. I'm doing this one. Okay, I guess we starting. <laughs> starting again. Where where are our characters? Where did you put us? Put us where we were last time. All right, I'm thinking about having my guy be next to him instead, so that I can put. So, actually, no, never mind, because I don't. I need to make sure my summon doesn't get dead right away. So. Well, I'm going to move up like front and center and just like try to take him out, I guess. No, not take him out. Yeah, take him out because um, if they're dead, the guy still doesn't move because the archers are blocking the other door. But right. he'll move if we don't open the door at the same time because he doesn't know that there's archers blocking the other door. No, he, do he has perfect uh, knowledge. Well, then he wouldn't move, and if he has perfect knowledge, he doesn't move until we clear out the archer from, like, way over here. But that guy's not blocking the door. But he's next to the stump. Oh, you're right. So he is blocking. You're right. So if he has perfect knowledge, he doesn't move until we clear that guy. That's true. It did sound like he had perfect knowledge in the forums I was reading. That doesn't make sense to me. I agree. So. I mean, maybe he would have that intel. Maybe that's the argument there. But I feel like that's not an escort quest anymore. The monsters have to spawn in order for him to know that it's blocked. So I agree with you. So we yeah. would have to open that door and kill them at the same time. Yeah. Or just like open the door immediately. Like we have to open the door before we kill them is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Or okay. like at the same time, like they're dead, but we open the door immediately. Right, and then so he doesn't go forward because the yeah. will spawn and all that. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, I got the perfect move. Oh, 
oh no, it's not the perfect move at all. <laughs> I've got a pretty good one. <laughs> okay. I have 23. Okay. I have 55. Oh man, they have 15. Oh man. Oh, they're not moving though. Uh, okay. So they both shield up. And then just stand there. <laughs> okay. That's okay then, I guess. That's okay. Shield, shield is okay. Okay. I am going to move forward to be between them. Okay. And then uh, stun one of them. I guess I'll stun this guy. Okay. Done. And then I'm going to attack the other guy um, for four. Cool. I shuffle this. And I create a uh, sun symbol. You have me sort of behind you to your right, right? OK. I just wanted to make sure that I have mine set up the same as yours. Okay. Plus two. Ooh, nice. Plus six minus one because of their shield, so that's five. That's really nice. Yep, and I'm done. Okay. So I'm gonna sh summon my shadow wolves, and I'm gonna put one up next to you, and then one kind of behind you. Well, let me spawn those guys. One, two, three, one, two. And they have pierce, so they can whack through the shield. Okay. And then uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then also I get two points for that. And then um, two summoned allies within range two perform attack plus zero with me controlling the actions. So unfortunately, only one is close enough to do that, but he's going to attack that same guy that you just attacked um, for two with a pierce of two for three. So he hits for three. One, two, three. And that is my turn. Not terrible. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved in your way. It's okay. Okay, next round. So this is probably where, I mean, one guy's gonna die, so we should probably move in the doorway, right, at the same time? Yeah, I can jump over them if you want me to. No, I mean, I think I can, I think I could just kill one and then move into the door immediately. Okay, then I won't try to jump over them. <laughs> Or I can stun again. Mm. Well, so if I'm going to be the one to go in, I I need to have a summon ready to go. And if I'm not going to be the one to move into the doorway, then I need to do other things. So, like I can I can basically attack and move, or attack and shield up, or. Ooh, I'm going to do this. You should move into the doorway because I don't think I will be able to. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I have um, 32. I have 13. They have 15. Okay, good. Okay, so first my um, my one shadow wolf attacks this guy for two um, plus zero. So that guy's dead. Dead. Um, and then my other shot, so bye bye. And loot. And then my other shadow wolf comes up on the other side of you and hits this guy that was stunned. Is he not stunned anymore? He's still stunned. 
because it's not his turn yet. Oh, right, because he went first. Right. Okay. Yeah. So tries to hit the stun guy for two. Plus one for three. One, two, three. And then um, I am going to, I don't even need to jump now. I'm going to move into the door. One, two, three, into the doorway. And spawn all these guys. Three and four. And also four. Okay. Um, and then I'm ignoring the archers for now. I'm going to shoot the uh, golem for three. And I have pierce, so it'll be a for reals three. Plus one, so for four. I shot the golem for four. Or golem, whatever he is. And that is my turn. You have to do the Andy cir Circus. Um... Golem! 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 Hi, precious! <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Nerd things. <laughs> okay. The um the guy who is stunned becomes unstunned and that's all he does. Okay. And that's my turn. So um, the archers and the and the golem are going later? Yep, the archers are going after me and then the golem. Okay. Oh, I should. I'm totally gonna get whacked, aren't I? The archers are gonna, they're gonna shoot you, range three. Yeah. They're gonna shoot you, and then Gollum uh, is not gonna hit you because he only is, he has to, he only moves zero. Okay. You're out of range of the Gollum. Okay. So it's probably not that bad because the archers only have attack one. You know? Yeah. I just did things a little bit backwards. I should have summoned. I guess it was probably a good thing I didn't summon because then he the um, my slime would would get whacked for five and then he'd be dead. So it's probably better. Yeah, it'll be alright. Okay. Anyways, I am. I'm gonna attack this the the guard with an attack of five. Okay. One. So he's dead. I think so. Six. Yeah. Because oh, he wait. doesn't have shield anymore, does he? He 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 was stunned, and so he couldn't shield himself up, right? Or okay. What? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't. No, he had already shielded. He shielded last turn. But then it's gone by this turn. Right. And then he was stunned. And so he doesn't get to do his thing. So he didn't reshield. OK. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I think. Yeah. We're going to interpret the rules in our favor, like this whole scenario. <laughs> Given, given that this is now time four, I think that, that we get the benefit of the doubt across the board here. Mm -hmm. you you know we're totally going to forget to move this guy eventually, right? Um, <laughs> then, I already forgot that we needed to make sure he didn't move. Right. <laughs> My next thing is just, I'm just going to move forward one and get a loot. Oh, then I don't even need to put the loot. Which which loot did you get? Yeah, that one. The one that I killed. Oh. Okay, so then the golem doesn't do anything. Or sorry, the uh, the uh, I skipped the archers. The archers attack you. Um, attack one, range three, target two. You're the only person. Yeah, so they just attack you. The okay. first guy draws a plus zero, so one damage. That's not terrible. And the other guy draws a minus one, so zero damage. Sweet. 
And then the golem does nothing. No, next round. Okay. Okay, and then and the NPC doesn't move because the archers are blocking those two doors. What was that noise? On my side or your side? I think on my side. I heard something fall, but I heard it fall too, but I don't know what. There's nothing around here. <laughs> <gasps> ghost. Okay. Tell your ghost to not be sassy while we're recording. <laughs> yeah. How rude. <laughs> oh, sassy. <laughs> oh, when I my attack uh, used up the sun symbol, by the way. Oh. Okay. It's, it's gone now, anyways. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. It's going to be exciting. Or it's going to be terrible. It's either going to be terrible or exciting. There's no middle ground. There's no like, that was an okay turn. It's either that was the worst turn ever or that was the best turn ever. Ooh, I got, I've got something I can do. This will be interesting. I don't, I don't know how this will go, but I've got 18. I have 45. All right, it's me, and then the two archers are going to move and attack. They don't need to move. They're not. They're just going to hit me. They're just going to attack. Well, I'm moving. I'm going to move up. Um, okay. Then it's you, then the golem is moving and attacking as well. So. Alex. Okay. Um, First, I am going to use this one ally within range three may perform a move four. Okay. I, I, I can move, I can make one of your wolves move for, up. Yeah, that's, that would be good because that was what I was going to, the one behind you is probably the better one. I have plans for the other one for this turn. Okay, so move that guy four spaces. One, two, three. Maybe by this archer? Or do we not want him to start killing the archer yet? Should I leave him by like by the golem? Yeah, maybe we should focus fire on the golem first. Okay. I'll put him on this side then. One, two. Like near you or one away from you? Uh, yeah, we might as well put him in the corner. That way we can get in there too. Okay, and then my other thing is I'm going to shield myself up and move um, one, two. Okay. So I'm shielded. So the arc, everyone's going to attack me. The golems and the and two archers are going to attack me. But I'm shielded, so hopefully that's okay. Okay. Okay, the archer's turn. They don't need to move because I'm within range. First guy attacks me for one plus zero. For one, I have a shield, so for zero, but I get immobilized. And then the other guy attacks me for zero points of damage and immobilizes me again. Okay, double okay. immobilization. Okay, my turn? Yep. Okay, so my two arrows like hit my one arrow went through the loop, my shoe laces on my left foot, <laughs> and the other one went through the shoe laces on my right foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been stuck in the ground and you can't pull them out this turn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so my wolf that's already over there next to the golem attacks the golem for two and it has pierce. Plus one for three, so hits the golem for three. One, two, three. And then my other wolf comes up behind me. How far can he move? Oh, he can move three. One, two, three. So he's like on the other side of you. Um, and he also hits the golem for two. So two more points of damage for the golem. So he's down to two now. Wow, that's awesome. They're, as long as I can protect them until they can move, they're really good. But I have to protect them until they can move. Like I can't, I have to go absolutely last other, 
or use one of my controlling things because otherwise they're like dead and dead. They have like no hit points, but they're fast and chompy. Okay. So now um, I am going to, so I have one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one with me controlling the actions. Um, and I don't want them to move, but I'll have that same guy hit the golem again for two. Oh, heal self plus one. So I, does this heal one self count for me or the wolf? I think the wolf and he didn't have any points off, but anyway, he killed the golem. Dead. And then I am going to attack three and immobilize. Which one should I do? The one directly in front of the door or the one next to him? I don't think it matters. All right, the one in front of the door. Attack three and immobilize, plus zero. So he's immobilized. So he can't move now. OK. And he's down three points. And our dude still doesn't move because the doorway is still blocked. Yep, and now it's the next round. Next this round. actually is, seems like it's way easier. Yeah, like a lot, a lot easier. Because he's not moving. Yeah. Because uh, he would be like in the next room by now if we were playing the way we were playing before. <laughs> and I'd be like, no! That's pretty much how that went down. It's a good reenactment. <laughs> I tell really good stories. <laughs> or a good dramatization. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do? Hmm. I don't know what to do either. I guess I'll use this card. Um, I've got 23. I am not sure what I'm doing. I am... I guess I'm doing this. I have 92. What did you say you had? 23? Uh-huh. 92. Yeah, I didn't want 92, but that's what I have, so. Oh, wait, I'm immobilized, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Do we need to switch? <laughs> I can't do any of my actions. I I think I need to refigure out what I'm going to do, but pretend I don't okay. know. What I'm doing <laughs> um, I guess I would have done this instead. Okay. Are, is your number the same? It can be the same. Yeah, that makes it easy. It'll right. be the same. Um, actually, you know what? I didn't have to change anything. So never mind. Okay. okay. So um, I shield myself. Okay. Get XP, and then I do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do they do? Well, that's why I'm hoping they're just going to attack me. Oh, yeah, they are. And I'm shielded, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, okay, so the first guy draws a plus zero, so I'm shielded. That does nothing, but I'm still immobilized. <laughs> Dang. And the second guy draws a whiff and misses. Sweet. We like whiffs. Okay, so my turn. Oh, and the, that guy uh, is no longer immobilized. No longer immobilized. Okay, so I'm going to shoot the... Uh, oh, wait. First, my guys go. Sorry. So this guy moves up into this guy's face and hits... I don't know which one he hits. I guess, do we decide? I feel like it goes in order of their number. So I guess he hits this guy that was already hit once, sadly. Um, I think you could decide. 
Okay, so then he hits the other guy. <laughs> okay, so he hits the other guy for two. Ooh, with a wound. Oh no, he whiffs. Never mind. He doesn't hit at all. <laughs> and then my other guy goes one, two, up and tries to hit that same guy for two plus zero. So he hits him for two. A wound would have been really nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, so then I'm going to shoot that guy that has more hit points, that has six, for two, and it makes a fire symbol. Fire. For two times, so for four. So you're and down then two. I'm going to summon, wait, am I going to summon? No, I'm not going to summon yet. I'm going to attack the air. Because I need that summon for later. OK. Oh, and I'm going to use my minor stamina potion so that I can go one more turn without doing a thing. Oh, that's a good idea. Without resting. I'll do that guy. And I'm going to do the same thing. I got very unused to having to like manage my cards. And so now I'm like trying desperately to figure out how to manage my cards. Okay, next round. Ooh, I got the, oh, this will be perfect. Okay, I have 18. I have 32. I have 44. Sweet. They're going to move and attack. Okay, well, hopefully we'll whack them first. Oh, wait, I'm immobilized. <laughs> They're not going to... Did you just mess yourself up again with your immobilization? I did. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's okay. It, it works. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna shield up. And then I'm gonna heal you for three. One points. whole point. Yeah. But I, I uh, the important thing is I cause the sun symbol to appear. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. So I'm pretty sure my guys are about to just like ruin this. So first they so my first guy attacks this guy for two. What's going on here? Oh, he whiffs. Never mind. He's not gonna do anything. <laughs> and then my other guy attacks this guy also for two, plus one for three. That guy is dead. Very, very dead. Okay. The NPC is gonna move. Yeah, the NPC is definitely gonna move. Um Okay, so then um, my two summoned allies both perform attack plus zero with me controlling the action. So really it's just that one guy who whiffed the first time. So he is attacking for two. Um, for three, so that guy took three more points of damage. And then... Um, I think I'm going to take a long rest on this next turn, by the way. Then I'm attacking for three, range three, and Pierce, the same guy. So he's about to be dead, too. For a wound, plus one, yeah, he's dead. And that is my turn. And I am going to take... You're taking a long rest. Mm, I think I'm going to take a short rest, actually, because... I don't have anything else, like I'm at full health. The only reason to take the long rest is so I can pick what comes out of my deck. And while that's a good thing to do, I don't think it's necessary this early. So I'm okay. just gonna. But the dude moves forward three spaces, right? Yes. Like 
Onto the loot or right behind me? Right behind you. Or you know, next to the loot, I guess. That's where I put it. Oh. Oh, well. I'll get it back. So one of us needs to go and open that door and then hope that the guards run forward, right, and block the way. Yeah. Oh, there's only one guard. <laughs> There's, there's a guard, a shaman, and a golem. Yeah. I guess we just run into the room and like... Oh, not lay, lay waste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lay, lay waste is probably yeah more descriptive than going nuts, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can also add to my summons collection so that there's like more distractions for them. One, two, three, four, five. Because those traps don't count as blockages, right? No, he's going to just run over them. Okay, so we need to like run. Yeah. So here's a question. If we, if if I open the door and my wolves didn't move because they didn't have anybody to attack, do they get to move after? They just are okay. stupid that day? <laughs> Sad. So why don't I try to move before you so I can open the door and then your wolves can run in. Okay, that makes sense. I can go, I can go late. I'm very good at going late. Okay, you're gonna have to because I've used all my early cards already. <laughs> Don't worry. I can go very late. Okay. I have 55. I have 86. Okay. Um, me first. I am going to move forward four. One, two, three, four into the door. Responds a shaman, right? A shaman, uh, yes, a shaman, a guard, and a golem. golem. Sadly, the golem is in like the back corner. Guard, guard, guard. it's an elite golem, though, yeah, but. So what we want to do is try to wound the golem and then just ignore him and just keep running forward and maybe he'll die. <laughs> I think my wound is already, yeah, I, my wound is already in my discard pile. So mm. unless you have a wound. Nope. Buddy, you're being crazy. I, I probably should have bought some items or something. I could have gotten like a weapon that does wound. Oh man, okay, so I opened the door and then I'm gonna um, use retaliate. So now I have two retaliate. Okay. Um, and then they get to go. Um, we may also block him in a minute. I'm, I'm gonna like load up all my guys and front of him so that he can't get through. Okay. Um, so anyways, the shaman is going to move to, doesn't need to move to, I'm within range. The shaman shoots me um, and disarms me. Hmm. Gets in minus two, does no damage, but disarms me. That's terrible. Yeah. The guard moves forward to and attacks me. One, two, I guess, right there. Would you rather... I think I'd rather have the wolves flanking me. Okay. So I'm moving the guard right in front of me. Okay. 
Because that way I can imbue them with stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so that guard moves and attacks me, draws a minus one. So that would be two damage. Yeah, it's just two damage. But I have retaliate for two. So the guard takes two damage also. Okay. Um, and then the golem moves. He's got move to attack four. So he just moves two. I guess he moves here. Mm -hmm. Or do you have any AOE? So there's, there's no point in moving the guard, the golem next to the shaman, right? Okay. No point. I lost my AOE when I switched to this character. Now I have like, I guess you could call it AOE because I have 11 T guys all running around doing it. <laughs> no, you have not AOE, but bullet hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. okay. It's your turn. All right. So this guy goes one, two. Which side do you want him on? Closer to the golem? Doesn't matter. All right. So he goes one, two, three up next to you and then hits the guard for two. Plus one for three. One, two, three. And then this guy unfortunately gets trapped behind you. So he goes one, two. Hmm. But at least he's like with you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, although actually this may help. So then I'm going to move um, five. One, two, three, four, five, and flank you there. And then I'm going to um, summon my slime guy, who's shieldy and muddly, like behind the guard, like that. Um, one, two, and I get another guy. He's, and what is his, what are his stats? And that is my turn. Okay. Also, um, I forgot to use my chain mail. I'm going to use my chain mail. Oh, okay. So I get one hit point back. And then I guess this guy moves. But then he's stuck behind all of us. Yeah. One, two, three. So he's like right behind my wolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now he's stuck. Yeah. Um, I have to do a short rest. Okay. I'm hoping there's a card I want to play right now really bad, and I'm hoping I get it. I am disarmed. You are disarmed. What does that mean? I can't, that means you can't attack, I think. I can still do stuff though, right? Yeah, you can do other things. You just can't attack. What happened to my cheat sheet? There it is. Yeah, you cannot attack. Remove at end of next turn. OK. I have. Oh, sorry. Next round. I have 18. I have 32, I think. Yeah. Jesus. The golem has retaliate three, but doesn't attack and doesn't move. So hold off on attacking that guy, I guess. <laughs> okay. I won't attack him. I get to go. I don't get to attack. I'm going to lose that storm. I'm casting Bless. So I'm blessing the two wolves and you. So you get three Bless cards in your deck. I guess I have to shuffle it all together now, huh? Yeah. Which means you might have the wound back. It's true. That, that would be excellent. And then my other is I get to have an adjacent ally make an attack for. So it's either you or the wolf. Whichever. 
Hold on, I gotta finish shuffling. Wolf has pierce. Wolf has pierce. The wolf does have pierce. Does this guy have shield? No. So I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so attack four plus zero. That guy is dead. Yay. Bye-bye, dude. Okay. That was a useful term. Yeah. All right. So is it my turn now? Because the guard is dead? Okay. So I'm not, uh, all right. So this wolf goes one, two up next to the shaman, I guess, and hits for two plus one for three. Three damage on the shaman. And then my, uh, I guess the other wolf also moves three, one, two, three, up in front of the shaman and attacks him for two plus zero. So two more points off the shaman. And then my slime guy also moves up next to the shaman and attacks for one and muddle times two. So uh, attacks for enough to kill him. <laughs> shaman is now dead. Nice job, summons. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, so now. And you still get to move, right? <laughs> yeah, I still get to move. I still haven't taken my turn yet. Um, what, how bad of a retaliate? Retaliate three? Yeah. Uh, and range of three? Yep. I could heal you though. I can heal you for three. At okay. some point. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna move forward one to get this loot because I'm poor. And then I'm gonna shoot the the um, golem for three with pierce of three, so I can I can pierce through his his shield. Ooh, wound. No whiff, no whiff, no whiff. And heal oneself. I don't need to heal oneself, but he's wounded and times two. <laughs> so for six and and a wound. Wow, that's amazing. But then I take three points of damage. And I have to shuffle again. <laughs> Because <laughs> it wasn't a bless, it was a it was my usual times two. So he's wounded now at least. But I am also wounded now. I'm not wounded. Now I have taken have damage. Some. Yeah. Oh, and our guy can move now. Yeah. Oh wait, does the golem have to go? No. This no, guy goes. One, two, One, two. Three. We'll put him here. Okay. <laughs> Away from the golem. He's gonna take trap damage. If we're not careful. I'm thinking about like if there's anything I can do about that. I could just run into a trap. <laughs> My summons won't run into the trap unless the door is already open. So unless one of us can like jump over. Which I don't have that card right now. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I can... I can actually make it to a trap. Well, he's going to go three, one, two, three. So he won't hit the trap yet. Yeah. So do we have a couple of turns? Mm-hmm. Would you rather I rush forward and prep the way for him, or should we deal with this golem first? The, the golem's wounded now, so we could technically just run to the next room because the, they're, they're not very fast. Um, we could just leave it behind, like just escort him into the next room. Okay. Or my summons will deal with him probably anyway because unless you open the door right away, that they're, it, they're probably going to head for the golem anyway.
Mm. I still have my fancy like pick up all the summons cards, so I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I have fifty six. I have forty five. The golem has ninety. Ooh, attack of six. Yo. So I need to deal with him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So my shadow wolves, the first one moves, I guess just right next to him and hits for two. They have pierce times two. I already have to shuffle. I guess I shuffle at the end of the turn, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just hit him for four and they have pierce. So um, pierce of two. So enough to go through the shield. And then my other wolf goes one, two, three, and hits him for two. Another wound, plus one for three. So he's down to one point of damage. He's going to die once he moves. Is he? He, is, he has that wound. He's going to take a hit point. Oh, nice. OK. Well, the slime is too stupid to know that. So he moves one, two, three, I guess. Trying to get around behind him. Yeah, so next to the rubble. Yes. Yes. And then I was going to attack him, but you're right, he's going to die. So I'm just going to like move forward, I guess. One, two, more loot. And then, no, you know what? I'm going to shoot him just for fun. Um, so I'm going to attack him for two, range three, one, two, three, yep, all good. Plus one for three, he is super dead. Bye-bye. And then I'm going to attack the air, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and now I need to do a short rest again, I think. Okay. My turn, I heal you for three. Thank you. And cause a sun icon. And then I move five. One, two, three, four, five. And take, oh. how much damage do I take? Three? Four, it says. Four? Jeez. Four. Can I retaliate against the trap? <laughs> I think you did. I think that was why it's gone now. Okay, next round. Oh, wait, he moves forward three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right there. Okay. So what I need to do is go in there far enough so that the archer doesn't have to move to shoot me, right? Yeah. So I need to get, like, right... Uh, I need to get in as far as I can, looks like. Yeah. Okay. This is terrible. I'm also going to try to move all my guys in the way again so that he can't really get through us. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure that's going to work. I he might just walk in a really trap. Good. Will he walk in a trap rather than... OK. I should try to move before you so I can open that door and your summons will, will be able to move, right? Yeah. Okay. I have 29. Okay, I have 55. Okay. I move forward four spaces. So one, two, three, four, right there. And there's going to be an elite guard and a 
regular archer, right? Yep. Three and three. Um, and unfortunately, I am attacking the air. Sad. It is sad. I agree. Um, okay, the guard, no, the archer shoots me. Oh, shit. The archer's going to move. He only has a range of two, so the archer's going to move, so that means the NPC is going to move. No, he's not. As long as he only moves up one, they're still blocked. Oh, you're right. It is still blocked because this guy's blocking. Mm -hmm. But he's going to move too. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Dang. All right. Well, I'll try to get everybody in the way of our guy and then. Okay. That, that's yeah. my goal for this turn is to be in the way. <laughs> Darcher moves forward one, shoots me, attack a three plus one. That's four damage. Okay. I'm going to make it three damage because I have this chain mail. So that's three damage. And I don't get to retaliate because it's a ranged attack. Yikes, that's sucky. Um, the guard, oh man, the guard has retaliate too. Um, the guard's gonna move forward, I guess between me and the archer. Yeah. And then hits me for four, minus one, hits me for three, minus one because the chain mail, so it hits me for two. And then I retaliate him for two hit points. Okay. Oh, I forgot to spawn these guys. And now it's your turn. You didn't do any damage to those guys, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so first my slime, I guess, because he's closest, goes one, two, three into the doorway. My one wolf goes one, two, three to there. My other wolf goes one, two, three to there. And I'm gonna move five. No, I'm not. I'm gonna move four. One, two, three, four. And then two summit allies within range two perform a move with me controlling the actions. So um, Wait, I'm gonna- Where did you move? Huh? Where did you move? I'm like in between the traps. He's yeah. gonna go onto a trap. No, well, hold on. I'm not done yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, um, so my, I'm going to have my wolves. Nope. What am I going to do? Oh, you can, you, you're making allies move. Yeah. So okay. my one wolf is going to go one, two, three into there. He's not going to move anyway, because he can't get past us. He can't like one, two, three, I'm blocking the door. So he's not gonna try to move under those traps because he can't get through. But you're not, I mean, normally he would be able to walk through you. Yeah, but, um, but he can't, I'm blocking the doorway. His, but, one, even if he moves three, he can't move into the doorway. So I know, it, he can move two spaces here, and then he's only one space away from the doorway instead of two spaces from the doorway. Okay, so then... The traps hit too hard. You can move the slime out of the way, and then he'll move into the doorway. That's true. Okay, so I'm going to move the slime. The slime can move three, so the slime goes one, two, three, up next to you. I'm back here, and then I guess, is that the last? Is there somebody else that has to go? Nope. Okay, so then he goes one, two, three into the doorway. But he's got both slime and wolf protection. 
sad. And me. And me. <laughs> and you. Yes, I know. But he's got extra protection now. But he's kind of blocking my other wolf. So that's not fun at all. You're right. Ooh, wait. Um. I don't know. I think I think if we can keep him from from getting hit by these guys by being in front of him, I think we'll be okay. Cuz he's past the traps now. So we just have to all be in his way. And it's sad that my one wolf is is behind him. I was trying to figure out how to get all of us ahead of him and it didn't work out without him stepping in a trap. Yeah, but I can if you move your wolf if you go before me and the wolf is closer, I can move your wolf. He, the wolf's all the way back here. I know, but my, I have a range of five for the, I can make somebody within range five move. Okay, so I so, just need to get him one closer to you and then, and then okay. you can move him. Okay, that works. That means you have to go before me. Well, I will do the best that I can. I have a 32. I have 85. <laughs> 85? 85, yeah. Okay. First, the archer uh, shoots me. Are you sure it doesn't shoot my slime? I guess he shoots the slime. You're right. Yeah. He shoots the slime for two minus one for one point. The slime has one armor, so nothing. Yep. And not your turn. Okay, so my slime moves up next to the guard and tries to hit the guard for one and muddle. Two and muddle, so the guard is now muddled. And he tries to retaliate, but I have two shields, so... Oh no, shield doesn't work on that, does it? No, it doesn't. So my slime just lost two points. Um, my wolf goes one, two, three, up sort of next to you, um, but can't do anything because he's melee only. This guy moves up one and then gets stuck. And then I'm going to move two, one, two, I guess. And I'm going to shoot the guard for three and pierce. I have a question. Uh, what? I have a question. Do you okay. think your wolf goes onto a trap? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because there's a way through. As long as he's not going to like land on the dude. All right. Um, okay, so I moved up to... I'm attacking for three and Pierce, not that it matters. Ooh, I heal oneself, doesn't matter. Plus one, so attack for four on that guard. Two, three, four. He doesn't retaliate because I'm too far away. And then I am healing two, healing my slime for two with my robes of summoning. And should I summon my skeleton or no? I don't know. I think we, I think we, I think you can save them. I don't know. This one, this, it has, it has been way easier. Yeah. I was just thinking about ways I could block him further. Oh, I see. Sure. <laughs> so he's going to go, he's just going to go into one of these two spaces, right? Yeah. Unless I move. Well, and you were going to move my wolf too, so I'm going to summon my skeleton and I'm going to put him like right here behind you. Okay. Um, we're gumming up the hallway. Yeah, I'm just throwing everything that I have into the hallway so that 
he stays put. <laughs> Cause now he can't like, he can't get through any of us. I mean, he can, but he can't without, he'll be able to on the next turn though. So we need to get like one more guy in there so he can't get it too much further. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay, on uh, my turn, I am attacking this guy for two and stun. Mm -hmm. So then I draw minus one, so just one point and stun. Oh, wait, um, zero points, because my retaliate card actually makes me do one less damage. Wait a second, did, he, did the guard go? No. Rewind. The guard doesn't need to move, attacks me, attacks the slime for four, right? Yep, but he's muddled. Mm hmm And he strengthens himself. So plus zero and minus one. So minus one. So that's an attack of three on the slime. But the slime has two armor, so it's an attack of one on the slime. Yep. And then he strengthens himself, which um, removes the muddle, basically. Right. Well, he was done with the muddle anyway, I think. Oh, so he, he does strengthen, strengthen. So now he has he gets to draw two cards next time. Yeah. OK, yeah. and I hit him for zero, but stun him. OK. That's good, at least. And then all allies within range five get to move four. Oh, whoa. That's a really powerful card. Okay, so I'm going to start with the wolf that's furthest back. Wait, does that mean that the little dude gets to move five? It's uh, all allies within range five may perform a move four. Oh, okay. And we decided he's not performing a move four. All yeah. right. So this guy goes one, two, three, four. Wait, move the other guys first because then they can, there'll be more room for him, right? No, that's as far as he can get. Oh, yeah, you're I guess. Right. Oh, you know what? Hold on. He was here. Where? Do we want him to be like in front of me? I guess it doesn't matter. Either of those is the same, right? Yeah, pretty much. Now, yeah, I think we want to leave it like this because at the moment, the, the guy can only move one. And if I start moving them further down the hallway, then he can move further in. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Like he can't, he, he has to stop here in this corner. If I leave it with just the wolf in, you see what I mean? Yeah, but I think it's better to shuffle your guys as, towards this room as much as possible because your guys are going to be slow. I guess that's true. So then, but we don't want him to end up up next to you. That's that's where I'm concerned about it. So like, really, what we want to do is move the slime down the hallway more, but then leave everybody else there so he can't move further in. Because if I move, so if I move this wolf, he'll go up next to you. Right, right. So right. I need to leave that wolf there. But I could do like one, two with the skeleton, move that wolf there instead. But then his next, and then move the slime up one. But then his next turn, he's going to go like one, two, let's see, one, two, three. I think it's, I think it's better the way I had it. So you're not moving any of them? I'm, well, I moved the one wolf in. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, because on his next turn, he'll still be stuck behind everybody as long as I don't, as long as, well, actually, they're going to, they might move.
Oh, I think I had this backwards. That's fine. Well, I'm I'm now I'm looking at if I move them all down the hallway. Would he move though? Because he doesn't see a clear path. He might not move because I gummed up the hallway. He's. I don't know. Because he doesn't have a valid move right now towards his goal. Let me see if one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think you could probably move your slime forward and leave everyone else. And then he, if he does move, he's only going to move to this one space and that's it. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. I actually think the slime would not go all the way. Um, thank you. Um, I don't think he would keep going because he's still a summon, so he wants to be by these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we want, yeah, we want him adjacent to the archer to attack the archer, right? Yeah. I think he would just move up one so that he could attack either of them. Okay. But then, okay, so the question still stands though, would he move given that we've gummed up the hallway with allies? Because he, he doesn't would. actually he have- one space. Okay. But like the, the hallway is very gummed up right now. And we I just need to move everybody forward so that he's only got like one space to move again. So on this next turn, I need everybody to keep moving forward which I think that they will because right now only one of them can hit things. So they're gonna try to rearrange themselves. Yeah, I need to do a short rest though. Okay, I just did a short rest as well. Eh. Okay. okay, what am I gonna do? This, that's what I'm gonna do. Wait, did the guard do anything? The I don't remember what happened with the archer and the guard last turn. <laughs> yeah, they they attacked and stuff. Okay. They basically attacked me. Yeah, or they attacked the slime. I mean, and then. Oh right, the slime took damage. Yep. Okay, I have 18. I have 55. The archer has 29. He's going to move and attack, immobilize. The guard's going to move and attack. Ooh. The, oh, the guard's stunned. The guard's not going to do anything. Great. First, I'm going to bless these three summons, so you get three more bless cards. I haven't found all the bless cards from the beginning. I know, that's pretty awesome. And then I'm gonna jump onto this treasure chest. I finally get the stupid treasure chest. I get the treasure. What is it? Nine. Uh, endurance foot wraps. Item number ninety-seven. Is it the? Is it you? You got them, or you? Yeah, it says gain, gain item, gain uh, endurance foot wraps. Cool. Do you have any shoes on right now? I do. I and I just jumped. I just jumped with them. I don't have the box, so I'm gonna have to try to remember that we did that. Oh, you know what? I can put it in this other thing. Uh, items. 90 something? 97. 
If you move four more hexes on your turn, you can heal one cell. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't have any boots. Maybe I'll buy boots. Oh, I don't have any money. That's right. Can I trade you? Can I give you items? No, you're supposed to sell them to the city and then I'm and supposed to buy, buy them. them. I don't deeply love how that works because we're part of the party, right? So shouldn't we get to like trade our stuff and like give each other money and things like that? Like, shouldn't it be party wise? Yeah, so. But whatever. Endurance foot wraps, sweet. Okay, now the archer uh, has a range of four. Can the archer see me? Yes. Okay, Sorry. the archer doesn't need to move, just shoots me. <laughs> it's going to immobilize me. I'm going to be stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the archer uh, hits for zero, for, hits for one. Drew, drew a zero, so it hits me for one. And immobilizes you? Uh huh. Dang. Boys. I'm at seven. I'll, I hand you a healing potion, like. <laughs> I have, I can heal myself. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, your turn. Okay. So first my slime guy, he doesn't have to move. He hits the archer, I guess, for one and muddle. For two and muddle. One, two, and muddled. And then my I No, guess you should hit. I think you should hit the guard because he's stunned right now, so he won't be able to retaliate. Oh, that's true. Okay. So for two and muddle on the guard instead. And he doesn't retaliate. Okay, and then um, my wolf moves up to the guard, I guess. I really need him to get out of the way, but I don't think he's gonna move down the hallway. Uh, maybe I'll move him later. Um, okay, and he hits that same guard for two and a wound, zero. Um, so he, that guy's now wounded and has two more points off. He's dead, right? I don't think so. I have him down to two points. I had him down to two. Didn't you just do two? I just did two, but he was at four then, wasn't he? Because he was at six when I started hitting him. Did I miss a hit? I probably missed a hit. I think you, yeah, I think so. Because I okay. had him down at four when you started. Okay. So then he's dead, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that makes life a little bit easier, I think. Okay, so then my other wolf goes uh, one, two. I'm gonna make him go three because I'm, because he totally knows that the skeleton needs a spot too. And he hits the archer for two, plus one for three. One, two, three. And then the skeleton goes one, two, up onto that loot and hits for two plus one. He hits for three, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. Mm. Okay. Um, I thought I was going to do one thing, but instead I'm going to do something else. So two summoned allies, uh, perform attack plus zero with me controlling the actions. So I'm going to have the, the skeleton hit again for two plus one for three. That guy is now dead. And then I am attacking the air. Okay. Um, 
the NPC moves towards two spaces, right? Yeah, one, two. Okay, next round. This is this is way easier. Like way, way easier, yeah. Funny how when you play by the actual rules, it gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> I am immobilized. So what the hell can I do here? Oh. I don't know, but I'm going to have to like, I don't know, because the door's not open, so my summons aren't going to move. Mm -hmm. And I have to do my magical, I guess maybe I don't, hold on. If I do a short rest after that one. Then I can do this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I totally took a short rest. Okay. Um. Jeez, I don't know what to do here. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, I, I have fifty-seven. I have thirteen. Okay, you go first. All right, I'm gonna move four, one, two, three, four onto that loot, and then I am going to. Um, two summoned allies within range to perform a move plus zero with me controlling the actions. So I'm going to move the slime. He gets to move three. So one, two, three towards the door. And then I guess I'm going to move this wolf three as well, the furthest back wolf. One, two, three, up next to the stump. Okay. And that is my turn. Yeah. Okay. Turn. I am um, using my healing potion. Five, so I have 12. Uh, are any of you hurt? Um, my slime has taken one damage, but that's it. Oh wait, you're not in range anyways, doesn't matter. I heal myself <laughs> for another three. So I'm at 15 and I cause the sun to appear. Sweet. And then I might as well cast shield. Okay. And then this guy moves. Yeah. One, two, three, up behind my wolfy guy. Yep. Okay, I'm doing another short rest. Oh man. Hmm. Well, you open okay. the door. I can't get to the door. That's but neither can he. He can't get to the door either. So if we can get to the door on the next turn. Okay. So I don't. Jeez. Oh, I wonder, can, so if I'm controlling the actions, I can make my summons open the door, can't I? Or no? I think so. Because it says in the book that summons don't open doors, but oh. if I'm controlling their actions, I, I can make them open the door. They don't open doors on their own, let's put it that way. But if I I'm controlling them, I can tell them to open the door. Sure. Sure. I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can open the door then. <laughs> Not that it matters because this is the last room, so he's just going to make a beeline for the shaman anyway. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, oh I can do this. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. I have 29. Okay, I have 55. Okay, first thing I do, I'm going to use my earring to make my chainmail and wing shoes reset. Okay. 
Are you still, you're not immobilized anymore, I don't think, are you? No, I'm not. And I need, I need my wing shoes to reset so I don't have to walk over a trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna make one ally within range three. Oh, I'm not within range. I'm gonna um, use my shoes and jump one, two, three. And then one ally within range three may move four. Which of you wants to move four? I'll move four, and then the doorway situation is better. Okay. So I'll move into the doorway. One, two, three, four. Into the doorway. Into the doorway. What's in there? Oh, nothing elite? Man. We've got one guard. This is way easier. And one archer and the shaman. Mm -hmm. This is so much easier now that we're playing by the correct rules. They really should uh, have a little note about that. Like, he only moves forward if the way is not blocked. I, I don't know. Let me actually spawn these guys. Three, three, and two. Okay, so that was my turn. Uh, so the shaman goes, he's got a range of three and a curse. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. He's going to go here and shoot you Dang. with a plus two. So, <laughs> three damage and a curse. How much damage? Three. Three damage and a curse? One, two, three. So, if I'm cursed, that means I take a, a curse card and shuffle it in? Yeah. Dang. Well, you have like. I do have like a bunch of blesses, but. <laughs> I don't want to curse. Now I have two whiffs in here instead of just one whiff. That's true. Now the archer has attack range three, so it also is going to move forward to the other side of the guard and shoots you, draws a plus zero, so two points of damage. Fine. Jerks. <laughs> the guard is going to move forward one and also shoot you <laughs> for three plus one, four points of damage. Sheesh. I'm down to six points. Okay. I mean, I can heal you. Okay. Is it my turn now? Yep. Okay, so my slime goes one, two, three. This guy goes one, two. Oh, the slime actually hits that guard. Let's actually resolve that first. For one and muddle, for plus one and muddle. So the guard is now muddled. Okay, that wolf moved one, two, three. Wait, so the guard took one damage? The guard took one damage and is muddled, and I have two wolves behind me. Okay. And then the skeleton moves to, because he's slow. Okay, and then two summoned allies perform a move with me controlling the actions. So the guard, the um, wolves, the first one goes one, two, three by the shaman, but he doesn't attack. And then the other one goes one, two, three by the guard. So now they're all in front of me. And then I am doing my recover up to four of my lost cards. I'm not sure I have the people in the right places. <laughs> yeah, I would be surprised. Okay, so um, the guard has the slime to like, okay. So if we, we go from me, 
to yep. my left and in front is the slime. Okay. And then to my right and in front of me are each of the wolves, like in a line towards the shaman. Got it. And then the, the skeleton is by the stump behind me. Yep. And that is my turn. Okay. And then the uh, NPC moves like two behind you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next round. So if we kill the shaman quickly, does he just stop moving then? I think so, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to focus fire on the shaman. Sounds good. Oh, and I also totally used my, my healing potion. We're just going to pretend like I said that earlier. Okay. Eee. Ugh. I have 56. I have 32. Arr. Okay, the archer first. He's going to move one. Doesn't need a move. Attack one, range three. Create a three damage trap in an adjacent empty hex. So I think he shoots the slime. Probably. Um, with a plus one. So two points to the slime. But the slime has shield. Yep, so no points to the slime. And then create the trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. So like basically right here next to the slime. Yeah. And then the guard is going to shield up and re and have retaliate ready. Oh, OK. This is muddle. Dang it. And then the shaman is going to heal the guard. Guards back to maximum hit points. Sad. And I think that's it. Now it's your turn. Okay, so this is gonna go a bit weird, I think. So the slime is gonna hit the guard for one and muddle, can still for one and muddle. So the guard got hit. Oh no, he shielded. Guard has shield one. Okay, so for nothing, but he's muddled. Okay, but then, then he has retaliate too, so the slime takes two damage. Okay, that's fine, he's still alive. Um, and then the wolf, let's just go in order. The wolf also hits that guard for two, and he has pierce for three. So he hits that guard for three. One, two, three. And you said that the, the guard is retaliate too? Uh-huh. Okay, so he's still alive, but they're both, they're both a little sad. Um, and then the wolf over here is going to hit the shaman for two, ooh, two and a wound and times two. So four and a wound on the shaman. And then my skeleton is gonna move up to, to right behind me, but he can't hit anything. And then I'm gonna go and I'm going to attack the shaman for three. Wait, should I? Yes, I'm going to attack the shaman for three because then the dude, I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of the shaman. So I'm going to attack him for three times two is six. Shaman is dead. And the orchid is now going to stay behind me because the shaman is dead. Yep. And then I'm going to shoot the guard. Um, I have an attack X where X is the number of summons. So one, two, three, four summons for an attack of four on the guard. Oh, wow, okay. Plus zero, but he's got one shield, right? So an attack of three on the guard. One, two, three. And that is my turn. Cool. Um, I am going to move. 
One, two, three, I guess. And heal you for three. Where are you? Oh, yep. And heal me for three. Thank you. Yeah, and then cause the sun to appear. Sweet. And then we're in the next round. We can do this. We just yeah. have to kill these last two guys and we're done. Mm -hmm. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Okay, I have 29. I have 92. The guard goes first. He shields up and it has a retaliate ready. <laughs> Bad. And no How much retaliate this time to retaliate? Yep. Okay. Then I go. Geez, that's kind of sucky. Um, I am going to make you recover three cards. Sweet. Nicey, nice. Thank you. And then I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. Wait, I'm not going to move. I'm going to move. I can't move four because <laughs> I have minus one move. Oh. Oh, and all my dudes are in the way. I'm sorry. I'm staying where I am because everyone's in the way. <laughs> sorry. It was to keep the orchid from running in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've been dragging these summons around since room one, man. <laughs> well, now it is the archer's turn. Okay. <laughs> He's got attack of one, range three. Um, I think it's going to shoot your slime. Okay. At plus zero, so zero damage because your slime is shielded. Yep. Now it's your turn. Okay. So the slime is going to hit the guard again for one and muddle zero. So one and muddle, but then he gets retaliated. So he well, dies. The guard has a shield of one. Oh, so just muddled. Yeah, but the slime dies. Slime is dead. Sorry, slime man. Okay, so then this wolf hits that guard for two with pierce plus one for three the guard is dead finally so then the other wolf moves one up next to the archer and hits the archer for two plus one for three one two three and then my skeleton goes one two up into there. Oops, wrong way up. And then now I get to go. And I'm going to go. Uh, do I want to be up in his face? Probably not because everything I do is range. One, two, three onto this loot over here. And then I'm summoning my thorn shooter. Do green over here into the corner. Okay, one, two, you are dead. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And that is my turn. Okay. Next round, and the guy doesn't move forward because the shaman's dead. Shaman is dead. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Are you hurt still? A little bit, but not enough that you should be concerned at all. 
Okay. If you've got an attack you would rather do, that's probably the better way to go. Because this guy's down to five, and I still have all of these summons hanging out, only one of which is hurt. I'm really excited to actually win one, which means that the archer is about to morph into his like ultimate form and kill us all, right? <laughs> right. I have 55. I have 32. The archer has 44. You're going first. Hooray! Okay, so the wolf hits him for two times two for four. One, two, three, four. That's another bless card that goes back into the deck. All that blessing really, like, the fact that I managed to save it accidentally until the end is fantastic. Um, <laughs> and then this wolf moves forward and hits him for two and a wound plus one for three. That guy is dead and we just won. Do we finish out the round or is it over over? Uh, we finish out the round, I think. Okay, because I want to grab a loot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my summons stop doing things. Do you? Because I want that loot too. Just go grab it. I'll go. Oh, you get the one behind you. Okay. So I'm gonna go one two onto this loot and get that loot, and then I'm gonna attack the air and joy. Okay, and I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'm going to move one, two, three, grab this loot. All right. Hit it. Hooray. Oops. Oh, we get to read. I forgot that we get to read things. <laughs> that was so much easier. That was way easier. So, hot take for all of you watching at home. Look up Actually, all of the rules correctly. first. <laughs> don't, don't think you understand. Yeah, read, read errata online, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll read, I guess. With the last of the Enochs and their golems or golems dead, the orchid drops his sword and falls to his knees. Thank you, he says. They killed my family when they came. They said my children were not strong enough workers. Dude, these guys are like genocidal maniacs. The orchid dips his fingers into a pool of blood and begins to paint his face with it. And this guy has gone insane. I thought killing them all would help, but I still feel hollow. I owe you a debt for what you have done. I will gladly lead you into the Western forest, which is 48. On the way, however, I would like to check on a neighboring orchid village. I fear that this may not be the last of the slaving Enoch tribe. So we get two different locations. The orchid stands and turns to you, his face now a red mask of ferocity and hatred. I'm called Redthorn, follow me. And we get two new locations, uh, the party achievement, Redthorn's aid, and uh, one reputation, which brings us back to full reputation. Eat. Wow. We finally defeated the slave pens. Mm -hmm. Finally. I completed my thing. I did too. I had to kill one elite. That's why I killed that golem when he would have just died anyway. I figured it was something like that. I was like, I'm gonna let him die. No, never mind. I'm gonna go actually kill him because I need that. I because I haven't had a check mark in so long now. <laughs> Wee check mark. <laughs> Mine was basically um, make sure no one in the party gets exhausted. Nice. Thank you. I kept asking you if you needed healing. <laughs> <laughs> How much XP did I just get? I got like a ton of XP. 13 XP. Wow. Wait, how much do we get for the actual scenario? Uh, we get, because we was level two, we get eight. 
So I get 21. 21? Yeah. You get a lot of XP. Yeah, because every time I summon, I get, um, that means I made a level. So I'm going to level up, but not right the second. Jeez. And then three gold, 12. I get 12 full gold. We. It's um, three per loot or what? Three per loot, yes. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, I, so every time I summon, I get two XP. And then every time I do one of those controlling effects, I get one XP. And those are not lost cards, so I can just keep like spamming myself with XP. Uh-huh. Quite nice. Because during get, my last guy couldn't level up to save anybody. Do we get gold just for completing that thing too? No, we didn't get any gold this time. So. Okay. But exciting that we get to level up again. Mm-hmm. And then we have two more. So the two that we have now, we have Tribal Assault, which is where we go check out that village. And then also Shadow Weald. Weald. Which I'm guessing is the is the next one to get to finish up the cleansing of the crud. Mm-hmm. Get a perk. I did. Oh, I guess I get a perk for making a level. That's exciting. Yeah, you do. I'm not going to do my leveling up right this second, though, because that takes a while. That was super exciting. We actually finally did, only took us four tries. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get to. All right, so we finally finished. <laughs> I guess we can stop recording. It's so exciting to finally finish. Yeah, and next time you see us, we'll be somewhere else completely. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks for joining. Oops. <laughs> Did you cut it?